What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. What's up, beautiful people? It's me, Ricka Jones Jr., and we also have the also oh lovely Crystal Jones back again for another video. And this one, I'm about to tell y'all the worst experience I've had in Johannesburg, South Africa, okay? And I'm putting all of this on this because when mm -hmm. I tell y'all this story, you're going to know why. And so for those that don't know, uh, we do like on the community page, like you can talk to each other, whatever, whatnot. So we do polls on the daily on those. And on yesterday, it was a poll talking about the food poisoning situation. A lot of people was inquiring and wondering where did this mm. take place and even before starting this video my babe was like oh but you don't really know this is where yeah. it took place and i said oh no i do we I ate do. together at yeah, the yeah, same yeah. place no 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 no. i'm about to break down to you the reasons why i know okay. it took place break there and we're gonna let you know of the restaurant at the end okay and so i'm gonna give y'all all the reasons okay. why okay okay so first things first crystal says hey I want to go, not I want to go on a date, but hey, do you want to go have lunch on Wednesday? Right. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. No sweat, let's do it. You obviously want to do it, so I'll do it with you. And so, yes, let's do it. All right. I would say the text very much gave. I think you're like, sure. Oh, yeah. Because, <laughs> I mean, you know me. Like, I don't, first of all, I really don't be on that go out to eat type thing. Right. But then, secondly, if I could get a date that I could just stay at home, I just want to stay at home. Yeah. But nonetheless, it's all good. My baby says she wants to go eat. That's what I'm going to do. You know, and I'm not going to do you like Adam did Eve in the garden and say, it was this one minute you gave me. However, Ooh. we go to this restaurant. Shame. Why let this restaurant? Because, why do I say all of this? Because we go to another spot that mm -hmm. I wanted. We go to Food Lovers Market mm -hmm. where I, I was like, oh, I'm going to get some of this. I'm going to get a donut. I was going to get, I already knew my situation. But Crystal was walking around the Food Lovers Market like, Mm, but I really wanted other spot. Mm. I really wanted to try that spot. Mm, I really, and so, you know, you, you see too many of this is and the looks around. Ah, and was, I, was I really, was my, uh, oh yeah. my was, hands were really. It wasn't like sassy bossy, but it was like, uh, I don't want to touch anything I, here. Like, I don't want this. Like it had that, I don't, I don't want this. I no, had this. I, I, yeah, yeah, no, okay. it had that. It had that aura. And so, <laughs> okay. just to, not allow for that to just transpose to other people in the space. I said, okay, let's just go to the restaurant. And so we go to... He said, we'll look at it. We can look right. at it and see. And if I don't want anything, then I will come back. And get something from Food Lovers Market. And I'll just take it to the restaurant. But then we get to the restaurant and the waiter is there. Friendly guy, but, mm -hmm. you know, he just wasn't listening. Because <laughs> I was like, hey, I'm just trying to look at the menu to right. see if there's anything that I like. Oh, you want to sit outside or inside? Hey, you know, I just I'm just looking at the menu you right now. Menu. I'm just trying to get a feel for it. Oh, okay. Boom, 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 boom. I can sit you over there. All right, I was like We're still licking. But at the third time I said, Alright, bro, we just I'll sit inside, you know, because I don't like It did seem odd situations. that you made like such a quick switch, like right. we'll sit over there. I'm thinking, so you've decided. Like it seemed very Right, like I felt like I felt like at this point we're in your restaurant. Pretty much, we have your menu. You're showing me stuff. Like I'm not gonna have you do all this work, and I'm gonna walk away. Mm, you know, because I'm okay. I'm a good guy. Because he, nice. he, he was being very nice. He was being very nice. He was very nice. It was just extra. It was more than what was necessary at the time. But mm -hmm. he was doing his job, so no knock to him. No knock. Just now. However, we sit down. <laughs> just now. Looking over the menu, boom, we found what we wanted. Mm -hmm. We're excited. You know, I get to try a burger. I haven't had a burger in probably about three years or more at this point in time. Yeah. But this spot, it's of one of the parts of the name of the restaurant. So I'm going to try a burger here, right? Mm -hmm. I could have tried a steak, but I said, no, I'm going to go for a burger. And so, boom, pick Which out a burger. Which is honestly what initiated the lunch in the first place because the day before, you had said, I'm going to eat a burger yep. tomorrow. That's and I true. said, oh, if you're going to do that, let's go together. Mm-hmm. To eat this burger just after I get out of school. Right. And so, boom. And but then as well, she changed the restaurant because I already had a restaurant. Well, because I told you the burger that I had gotten from the other Food restaurant. Yeah. 
it was okay. Like it wasn't. I was like, this is not the burger you want. After, to start. Yeah. I like, get it. I get it. You the did. bread crumbled. Like it wasn't. It wasn't ideal. Yeah. It was like this. It was like this type of energy. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> exactly, it's all so of it, pretty. all of it's coming back. Now, now you gonna start seeing yourself doing that. But uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can just see myself in a restaurant. I don't like nothing here. Babe, do you want to eat here? <laughs> you should know what that be. But anyway, at okay. the end of the day, we get to the restaurant. Boom. We order the food. Boom. She gets a she gets a Wagyu burger. I yes. get a regular burger, right? Because I'm just getting myself into this thing. Because he was being cheap. He was looking at the specials and he was being cheap. The Wagyu burger was only twenty rand more. Exactly. Why not just get it? Because I mean, it's like, is it really Wagyu beef? Because in the states they be saying Wagyu, but it's liars. not real Wagyu. They are liars. But here, okay, they're not they're not going for them lies. In, this, in South Africa. In South Africa, they're not going for them lies. If they say beef is beef, if oh. they say chicken is chicken. Oh. So in the States it could be anything. To our South African brothers and sisters, <laughs> if we see Wagyu beef on the menu, is it really Wagyu beef? Because in the States it may say Wagyu, but it may not be. No, it's a hundred percent not Wagyu because it's not legal. So, you know, there's And that. I think that when it says like yeah, like the Kobe Wagyu beef or whatever yeah. and all that. Like it's they're like, problem. no, you can't even get it. So it's not real. So, you know, all that was going through my mind. But at the end of the day, I just wanted a burger, right? Because I'm trying mm -hmm. a burger for the first time. Mm -hmm. They had a burger that was to my liking. So, boom, I ordered a burger. While I ordered the, bur order the burger, I'm getting to the part where things start going downhill, okay? So, bear with me, y'all. We ordered the food. We have a clear sight into the kitchen. Okay, and so we can see the cooks, mm -hmm. we can see the workers, we can see everything that's happening from the cooking area to the Sunday bar area. And we're talking, Chris and I are talking, we're sitting side by side so we both can see the view of everything that I just mm -hmm. told you all. And she's talking and I'm trying to listen because she's saying good stuff. But I'm like, babe, are you seeing what they're doing in there? <laughs> like, are you oh. seeing the cooks? He's they making are... these crazy faces. And here's why. <laughs> they were out here picking up food, eating it with their fingers, like no gloves, right? I get yeah. sometimes it's best to not have gloves, woo -de -woo -de -woo. however, they are picking up food, putting it in their mouth, grazing their lips, like they just touching lip every time. Uh. And I'm watching it, and I'm like, hold on, wait a minute, please don't let it be. But they keep doing it. Like our server, he goes to the back area, comes back out eating. I already know he put it, his hands in his mouth too because the other ones did it too. And they haven't washed hands yet. They ain't touched water yet. Because mm. I know where the sink is at this point because I saw mm. somebody else already like get water from the sink. So all of this is taking place. But then they looking up. And so I'm making, I lock in. I, you know, usually if somebody like look up with you staring at them, you try to look away real quick. Right. Mm -mm. I want you to know I saw you so once we tell y'all the name of this restaurant and they try to say whatever whatnot y'all run them cameras back y'all gonna see me looking at y'all the way the cooks and all that and them looking at me but anyway y'all Ricky is level 10 about like sanitation cleanliness yeah. especially when it comes to like food, food. like especially. I'm sitting there like oh man he's never gonna come back here I already said it I just I, said it before the food came out. Yeah, I, I was like, oh man, like, and my food is probably, it might be good, <laughs> and he's not even gonna, I'm gonna just have to come a here, nice restaurant. eat by myself because mm -hmm. I really enjoy burgers. Or bring your brother. And they have ribs, and yeah. I'm just like, oh man, like, because yeah. I know he's not gonna come back. There's nothing I'm gonna be able to do convince him. Yeah, no, no, no. Already, because this even, is before the food poison. It's even before that, but even like the icing on the cake. So they around here eating, boom, eating, bop, bop, bop. All I'm eating. But then I saw, it was two cooks back there at the time. <clears throat> it was three, but one, she was kind of stayed in the back and would just bring stuff out randomly. But mainly it was two. They both had a cup, but it was like one of them cups from the house. How do I know? Because it was like tin, it had like colors and things like that, whereas in the cups at the restaurant were glass. Mm -hmm. And so y'all back here drinking cups from home, back in the kitchen? Like how, how is this happening? And I said, Crystal, they ain't washed their hands yet hmm. i'm not coming back i already told her i'm not coming back i'm gonna do this right now because i ordered it and i already know how it is if i send food it's back i'm gonna just say that. extra grace i'm gonna say extra grace i'm gonna plead the blood which i, I didn't end up doing that right so i should have stuck to what i already had said i was gonna do because i saw what the situation was but at the end of the day 
I saw it and I was like, man, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. But nonetheless, the food came out. All right, boom, cut it open. Now I will say one of the things that, and it was a beautiful restaurant. It is a very nice restaurant. Crystal was liking it. She saw Listen. it, she was like, oh, this reminds me of like an American burger house, whoop de woo and I was like, I hear what you're saying, but it ain't coming back. However, My food was amazing. There it is. On the wall, so amongst all the other decorations, it says all burgers are cooked to medium, which I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like burgers, medium, that's good. I'm gonna just cut it open. As long as it's not like blood just oozing out, I'll be good. I cut it open. There was none of that. It was a little pink, but not like pink, uh -huh. pink, pink. Mm -hmm. But I've had steaks lighter than this. So mm -hmm. no sweat, no problem. Cut it open, boom, eat it. I'm, I'm, I'm like, two bites in. My stomach is already like Rrrr. But I'm like, I'm gonna eat this food. It's so I don't even know if you noticed, but I then put the onion rings. I had fries, onion mm -hmm. rings, and a burger. I put the onion rings on the burger. I'm like, maybe that'll change some stuff up. I put some barbecue sauce on the I burger. I saw you yeah. like dressing and doing things, but I yeah. really wasn't sure. What was happening. What was happening, right. Cause you didn't show outward signs of like yeah. your stomach hurting. Right. Like again, we were talking, it was a good conversation. Right. Like I'm enjoying my food in the yep. middle of us eating. I ordered a milkshake. Like right. I am enjoying everything. Hello. And then <laughs> but that that's why I kept it to myself, right? Because I don't want you, you know, all to spoil people my playing experience. it. Right. All of that. Cause I already I had appreciate that. I led up with the idea they ain't coming back, right? Yeah. Because of all the stuff that I had already saw. However, as I was eating it out, mm, something ain't right. But nonetheless, we pursued, we kept going, and I finished first half. All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? But people still doing all their stuff. Crystal ordered the milkshake. I'm watching how that's being done. I ain't saying much, but I already knew. She asked me that also. <laughs> no, I'm good. Oh, well, yeah, the milkshake. At first, he was like, yeah, then he's like, nah, I messed up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. messed up. Yeah. And I was like, oh. Okay, yeah, no. yep. I ain't do the milkshake because I saw it and then the milk and I already knew how it was feeling already. And I, mm -mm. so I finished the burger, right? Boom, burger was done. Crystal enjoyed her food. We weigh in and you know, then we proceed to go out, right? Because it was done. We was done. With yeah, the lunch. yeah, we left. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So we made it back to the house. Woo, woo. Crystal goes to get the kids. Before she leaves, I said, man, like, <clears throat> stomach doesn't feel the best, but, you know, all is well. I this burger. I haven't had a burger in I haven't in had a burger. Years. I haven't had a burger in I'm a while. I'm like, yeah, you probably just, maybe your stomach, you know, just adjusting. My stomach feels completely fine. Like, right. you know. And then I'm thinking, too, are you just thinking a lot about these people in the hand and the mouth and the oh fingers? Oh, my gosh. The, are you hyping yourself, you know, to this place? Yeah. No, nah, it was all of that. But I will say, after they... Ate with their hands, licked their lips, and all of those things. Like it was, it was, they was touching lips, and all of those things. Mm. Cup washing. It wasn't until they finished cooking our food that they washed their hands. Mm. Okay, I noticed all of that. So I will say, what was one of them? One of them washed their hands. The other one didn't. One of them was making a panini. So whoever He's had a panini washing. on Wednesday, you know what I'm saying. And I'm like, this whole time, I'm even sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, I wish. We sat somewhere else that he's not getting a direct view mm -mm. of all of this. It's like Waffle House. I want to sit there and see. You know what I'm saying? You you see you see bad stuff at Waffle House for my American. You know to talk about. Uh, but at the end of the day, you don't see stuff like that. They're not around here eating food and all that. The floors are horrific. Okay, so you're not looking at the floors, but you're not eating right. all the floors either. But at the end of the day, Wednesday. She goes to get the kids that night. Woo, -de woo, like my stomach, like whoa. Yeah. Stomach. It started getting bad. Start getting bad. I don't even make it through a full night's rest on Wednesday for having to go to the restaurant, right? Because the food poison is hit. And then boom, I wake up Thursday. I am out of it. Like I'm yeah. weak. I'm tired. I did end up taking the kids to school, but that was only the grace of God because at the end of the day, I even like bumped the curb. <laughs> I'm just hearing about this. <laughs> at the school. Oh man, I did. It's not a, it's not a bad scrape, but it's it's a scrape. Because I mean, I was just, I was weak and I was just like, man, like, but anyway, I had responsibilities and that was one of my responsibilities. I didn't know you could have told me. 
but it worked out Friday. It worked out Friday, you took the kids, so mm -hmm. like, I already knew like things was gonna work out, just make it through this. Mm -hmm. We had a meeting that we was supposed to do on Thursday, I had to end yeah. up canceling it, um, because I was just tired, I was laying on this couch, just yeah. out of it. And I Googled like, you know, what should you, what kind of fruits should you eat if you have a stomach ache? Cause I knew I didn't want to eat any food. So I went and bought some fruits from the Woolworths and some soup and things like that. And um, then I talked to my mom. She was like, what's going on, baby? Don't sound yourself. I'm like, Shh, my stomach hurts. I never like looked it up, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell y'all when mm -hmm. I did, but I never looked up like, if you're having these symptoms, what could it what's be? What's happening, yeah. Right, I just was thinking, oh, this is just, this is gonna pass. I haven't had a burger in a while. It's gonna pass. Yeah. But then I started having chills and I was getting dizzy and things like I was having put on sweaters and I took the sweater off because I was getting hot. Like it was yeah. all of these things happening. And then like I don't even know notice, but like my nighttime clothes, I put them on out here. Like it was I was just like all over the place. But at the end of the day, boom, made it to Thursday. Friday I was able to get out. But then it was on Saturday is when a good friend, when I was a good friend, but my friend Brittany, mm -hmm. she messaged me and says, hey, Ricky, could you pray for me, you and the kids specifically, uh, because I have poop food poisoning here in Cape Town and I can't even go on my flight. I'm supposed to be flying back to the States, but I can't even do that because of dealing yeah, with what's that. Going on, yeah. Correct. And I was like, most certainly sure. And I said, oddly enough, my stomach has been giving me the business these last few days so you know i can do that for you yeah and then i said hmm food poisoning could it have been that because <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> i've only had food poisoning once in mm. tampa and um like took me down for like three days and this was we was living in the last house or whatever whatnot mm -hmm. and i remember that situation like it was nobody business because man like mama annie she was like checking on me and things like that so yeah but nonetheless saturday came we prayed for Brittany, but i said hey rain like in the midst of our prayers we also gonna pray for me too like i i never asked you to pray for me i never even thought about prayer because i thought <laughs> this was just going you know little pass. little bgs and it was gonna pass like mm -hmm. i'll be done but here i am three days later and not feeling the best 100 percent. so we prayed rain prayed for me as well and i was like okay this was on the way to rain school event that we all saw on monday's vlog either it might have been friday night or saturday morning that i was like babe like, i don't think you could just blame this on the fact that you ate beef <laughs> like at right. this point i think it's beyond this that's true um that's true you and did. you were like yeah i looked it up <laughs> right at that point it was like you're right it wasn't just it was the beef it was beyond that because i had had beef before right which only is also steak. confusing me right i had steak i never had burgers which is a different way of having beef but it was the situation. But nonetheless, right, we're going to get right. to the restaurant. Make sure y'all know that. Even though I will say, as a disclaimer, before we say the restaurant name, the fact that even your friend had, you know, food her poison. food poisoning, I mean, maybe it wasn't this restaurant. Who knows? No, no, <laughs> no, no. Well, let me tell y'all this. I will say it this way because we haven't come to any conclusive evidence based off right, of we food don't have testing and any scientific analysis or data research. Right. But based off of my hypothesis, mm -hmm. which is the if then statement, mm -hmm. if I ate at X restaurant on Wednesday, then mm -hmm. I proceeded to have these following. Correct. Therefore, the hypothesis mm -hmm. states. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we are. But I ate at the same place. You did, but you and had a different meal. I really, I did. And I really was trying to go through my mind and think, because we pretty much eat the same thing. We eat the same thing. Uh, restaurants and stuff. So I'm just trying to go through my mind and think, was there any other thing that you ate that the rest of us didn't eat? Mm. Because, you know, mm -hmm. I cooked. I think I feel like I pretty much cooked, cooked quite a bit. That we um, now we did go out to that restaurant. What was it that Sunday? And oh, you didn't um, like your food. Yeah. And the berry place, but I didn't eat it. I mean, you ate some. Not a lot. Right. I ate, a, I ate a, a but, strip and a half. Yeah. So we went there. 
you obviously had whatever food you had, but again, we the rest of us felt fine. Right. I was just trying to think, was there any other things that you ate that the rest of us didn't eat that could have been the moment of contamination? I've came to my conclusive <laughs> thought and scientific, no, not scientific, because we said we're not doing that. Uh, my own personal But conclusion. I feel like if they're making the burgers on the same grill, we know they're not back there using different grills. Different and sections. I was fine. Hmm. I mean, you might be fine kissing other people. Okay, I'm, I'm not fine kissing other people. I'm not fine kissing other people. I'm just what saying, I am saying because when they did that lip, 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 and put that thing, we kissed them. What I am saying is, we're good as unified. It seems strange huh. that you would get food poisoning, but I didn't. We had different types of beef as well. That is true. My that's the only left thing. Out. My beef, it could have been left out for too long. Yeah. Right? The true. Wagyu could have been in the refrigerator, right? Yeah, Wagyu hold at a higher standard. Mm -hmm. My burger, it was on the special, so it could have been just <laughs> set out. It could have been like, oh, I should we, not have called you cheap. You weren't being cheap. You were just easing your way into the burger. That's it. But I mean, I said, I told y'all why I didn't do the Wagyu because mm -hmm. it's not a thing. You didn't believe it was real. Right. It's not a thing in the States. Like, you know, mm -hmm. for what? Um, and so you're right. And mine could have just been left out as well. That's so, true. I mean, there's different aspects that could have made if you we get both it had not... Wagyu beef, right? And then, yeah. then it could have been something that we could have further dived yeah, into. Solidified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, with the information that we have, with the information, I'll just even put this on me with this information that I have, the conclusion that I have personally made within myself to therefore share with others is that after eating at ribs and burgers at the mark here in Santa, I left with food poisoning, ladies and gentlemen. And it was something that I will never forget. It will be something that has scarred me. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'll eat another burger for at least the rest of this year. Okay, why, why do I need a burger for? I'll just eat steak. Why do I want it chopped up when I could just slither it? Okay, I eat a slice of beef at a mm. time. I don't even need a burger. I'm not missing a burger. I can eat a chicken burger. I can eat a, what do they call it? Turkey. Prego. Prego oh, they don't burger. Have turkey burger. No, no, they don't yeah, have they do burger. the chicken burgers. Yeah, they do chicken burgers. And I'm good with that, right? I'm good with a good chicken breast. If it's cooked right, I'm good to go, okay? But at the end of the day, that was my experience with my mm -hmm. worst days here in Johannesburg, South yeah. Africa. I was laid up in the house. I was laid up in the bed. I was laid up on the couch. I had shivers. Uh, Crystal made some soup for me, and thank you yeah. for that. I ate a lot of fruits. The kids didn't care that I wasn't doing the best. They would come and talk to me. I, listen, they would I want stuff out of me, and I would tell them, them like, away, I'm, like... Not, I'm not there, you know what so I'm saying? I'm here, but I'm not 100% there, right? Like, this is not the father that y'all are used to. They're doing all the things. Before we get in the house, hey, your dad is on the couch. He's not feeling the best. Leave him alone. As soon as they come down, Daddy, y'all, I bye. just said, leave him alone. Ricky right here showing me a cut that he got at school. Like, oh, look, I'm looking like, why is he doing all of this? I, All of that, I wasn't catching. But I just was like, okay, it's not their fault. They kids. Right. They just expect and are used to me being and doing certain things. So let me just remove myself. So I just went to the room yeah. that moment and then it came out later Which on. Which was better because right. when you're out here, they just they expect access. Correct. <laughs> but uh, I was able to rest. All that to say, I was able to rest. Uh, talk to my dad, talk to my mom. They prayed for me. Talk to other friends because we also had other weekend plans that we were considering doing, looking to yeah. do. But then I just said I, I couldn't. I really couldn't. Um, I just, I wouldn't be good for anybody, right? I wasn't even good for myself. And so rested. You all saw the vlog on Monday, uh, yesterday, of what life looked like on the weekend. But at the end of the day, great people. Definitely wanted to share it with you because a lot of people were inquisitive, wondering, wanting to know where did I get food poisoning from? And Jeez. upon my analysis, it was at uh, Ribs and Burgers. So at the end of the day, if you go to the restaurant and you see a lot of finger to mouth activity, maybe you should pass. Maybe you should pass on eating there that day. Or you should ask somebody to, hey, clean some stuff up back there in the uh, kitchen because it's very exposed. It's not like it's hidden. Yeah. It's not like it's not seen. It's and tragic so, because my food was so good. Yeah, yeah, I'm never going back. So good. Never. But I will say the hand to mouth, it was, I didn't Excessive. like it. 
So I will. I know I heard there's a good burger place in Rosebank. Yeah. Um, and then I actually saw a burger place upstairs in Sanson City Mall. So I probably would check some of those out before I went back. Cause yeah, nobody wants this. And nobody wants that. And so even at the other spots, I'm not getting a beef burger. Nah, I get a chicken. Okay. Call it a day. But at the end of the day, great people, we love you all. We appreciate you all. We thank y'all for rocking with us yes. as you have done so thus far. And, uh, you know, appreciate the kind words and messages that were sent to me and that are even in the comments on that post because, you know, it says a lot. We thank you all um, for rocking with us, for subscribing to the channel if you're new to the channel. And uh, at the end of the day, hey, we're not throwing any shade on ribs and burgers. No. We're just saying that there's other ways of conducting yourself in a cooking environment. And I think you understand what I mean by that. What's in the face? <laughs> <laughs> there's that but yeah. to end it all we love you all we appreciate you all we'll see you tomorrow